happening now. Meantime, President Biden getting ready to meet with the president and the prime minister of Poland. They're asking NATO members to increase their spending to help Ukraine. They want to go from 2% of GDP up to 3%. And this comes as the Pentagon today has announced it will send another $300 million in weapons to Ukraine, even if it can't replenish its own stockpile. We're joined now here in New York by Yevhenia Kravchuk, who's a member of Ukraine's parliament. She's been on the show before, but it's great to have you here in New York with us. Thank Thanks for coming in. Um, let me start with the money. You know that um, the Congress has been debating a dollar figure that's much higher than that, 60 billion. But 300 million, I guess, is a, is a start, kind of a stopgap. Your thoughts? Uh you know, today now the country announced a military package for Ukraine. It's Denmark, and Denmark is the size of Maryland, and they announced 330 <laughs> millions of um, um, dollars. So actually, we do have countries in uh, in Europe that are um, uh, um, committing to to the goal and to the victory of Ukraine. Of course, um, uh, the package of United States is important because it's about the um, uh, stocks on the HIMARS, and HIMARS is. Um, mm -hmm. Much uh, appreciated uh, for our soldiers on the front line. Right. Uh, but of but course. But it's what the White House can do also. Exactly, right? as without to, as having you know, the Congress. Congress. Yeah. yeah. So, and if it doesn't go further and the Congress doesn't come through with the dollar figure or something close to it that we talked about earlier, then what? Where are we timeline wise? How long can Ukraine hold out? And, you know? We will hold as you know as long as we can, uh, and uh, we have proven that uh, we were underestimated because um, you know of course. all the intelligence said that uh, Ukraine will last two weeks, Kiev will be um, seized by Russians in three days. Never happened. So, right, that was two years ago, but now exactly there is pressure though, right? It is, the... it is, and Russians uh, do have the replenish of uh, of their own ammunition uh, from Iran, from North Korea, actually. Actually, this is the part of the Iranian drone uh, th that uh, attacked Kiev uh, wow. um, uh, last year. So um, they do have the allies that don't have to worry about the vote and any democratic procedures. They just stock them with uh, ammunition and, and weapons. But also, I will put it just another way, since, you know, what we're talking about the American and, and Americans are listening to us. It's actually American manufacturers that produce the weapons that yes. are being shipped to Ukraine. So uh, for... I don't know how much it's, it's going to be like half half a year now since uh, the, the, the first idea of the package was introduced. So just reverse it. Half a year, American factories where Americans work do not get the money. Well, to you're making the, the argument the Biden administration has made to the Congress, which is essentially like we're not writing you guys a check and sending exactly. it over. We're we're going to use this money to uh, rebuild our own stockpiles of weapons. We can send you those weapons, but we're going to build it here. We're going to, yeah, you know, it's going to be American generally. companies, government Patriots. contractors. Mars. Right. That's what you produce here. Right. So, but anyway, that's stalled for now. Um, let me talk about what's happening today for a moment. I mentioned it coming in that the leaders of Poland, uh, the President Duda, Prime Minister Tusk, they're meeting with President Biden this hour at the at the White House. Their point seems to be, all right, we need NATO to do more for us. You know, Poland is a neighboring country of yours, and there seems to be some worry there. Obviously, as there has been for the last couple of years, Putin could move through Ukraine and move into Poland, so they want more troops. The president says it's not necessary yet. Any thoughts on that? Oh, I totally understand Duda and Tusk. And actually, they are from uh, opposite parties, so that just means that the whole society of Poland is united uh, on this idea. And Poland could be next. And uh, um, Baltic states, uh, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, very small ones, um, could be next if if Ukraine uh, doesn't stand. So we're mm -hmm. just sort of a shield for, for Europe. But right. actually, it also proves uh, how important Ukraine could be for the European continent security. Because um, we have the biggest trained army, the, the biggest, actually, army uh, on the continent. And uh, there could be our troops afterwards, after the victory, uh, in Poland, in Lithuania, and you would not have to call for, for, for the Americans uh, to come and come to the, on the ground. What could be this biggest donor for, for hmm. European security? If you hold your position and win the war. Uh, when we win the war. When you win the war. There you go. Well, um, a lot of that depends, as you said yourself, on the, on the funding. So we'll continue to follow the story, and we thank you for coming yeah, in. Yeah, and time is extremely crucial. Well, that was my point at the beginning, right? So you said you could hold out, but do you know what's... Time is, time I mean, is crucial. Another few months? Because it means that we will be losing more and more lives. Civilians, soldiers on the front line. Because right. no other countries can uh, make, uh, you know, the, the weapons that are being right. produced in 
the United States. So even if you hold your uh, the lines a little bit, you're still losing more lives. It's a, it's a fair point. And thanks again. Good Thank to you. see you. Thank you. For uh, thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.